quiz, over the points, over common mistakes I saw, and then you can be fixing it um, either on the same sheet of paper next to, on the back of, on a scrap sheet of paper, either or. If you have questions, make sure you ask those. Are we just doing one of each or are we going? We're going through everything. Your test is going to Alright, so starting with the first objective, you have to factor out the GCF. So make sure you're finding the highest GCF of everything. This one was 3 and X. Some of you put the 3, but not the X. Some of you put the X, but not the 3. It needs to be both. And then if you're dividing 3X out of both, this will leave you with 3X squared plus 2. Some of you put that, some of you left the same exponents as before, so be careful with that. Make sure you're taking out a variable as well. Questions on that first one? The second one had a GCF of just 2, so divide everything by 2, leaving 3R squared plus 2R plus Both of those were worth two points apiece. Did you factor out the Wait, GCS? What is the last one for the six? That's not one. But, um, did you factor out the GCF correctly? And then did you factor out the inside correctly? So two points apiece. Questions on either of those? Those of you who were not here, I would definitely be writing this down. For the second objective, where you had to factor by grouping, split that down the middle. Look for the GCF of the first two, which was 5v squared. Divide that out of both, which would leave you with 5v plus 1. Then for the second set of numbers, GCF is 6 plus 6. If you divide that out of both, you're left with 5v plus 1. Then your final answer, the outside numbers become one of your factors, 5v squared plus 6. And the inside become the other, 5v plus 1. So points on this were, did you factor out the correct GCF, the highest with all the variables and exponents? Same thing on the other side, but make sure you have your symbol. Is it positive? Is it negative? And then did you put the correct factors at the end? So some of you were missing variables or missing exponents, not putting plus or minus, plus in this case. Um, Missing variables on the inside or missing variables in your answer, which cause you to lose points. So make sure you're putting all those little details. Questions on that one? The next one was similar. So GCF of these first two would be 4m squared leaving you with 7m plus 4. And then on the other side, you need to divide by negative 3, which will leave you with positive 7m plus 4. Some of you were taking out positive 3, which is why you still have negatives inside, so be careful with that. So then your factors would be 4m squared minus 3, and 7m plus 4. Questions on either of those? In your next section, uh, this first one was the most missed out of these mainly because you didn't put it in the correct format. So whatever format this is, the answers need to follow. So this starts off with the one. 
So this should be 1 plus or minus 5x in both. Some of you switched that and did 5x minus 1, 5x plus 1, but that would not give you the same answer. So be careful with that. The other one should have been 7a squared minus 3 and 7a squared plus 3. Both of those were worth just one point. Could you find the perfect squares and put it in the correct format? Plus or minus. Questions on that one? On those? I will say yes. So, yes, but if I were to multiply these back together, I would get that. So basically, you're taking whatever it is and splitting it in half. I will say, look out for GCFs. This may have not had any, but your test may have some, so look out for GCFs. Objective four, for this first one, you're looking for two numbers that multiply to be the negative 15. And then those two numbers have to also add to be two. There are only two numbers that work, positive 5 and negative 2, negative 3, sorry. Some of you did this by grouping, which is fine, but it's not necessary. If you have a 1 in front of your first term, you can go straight into your factors using the variable and the sign and those numbers. So plus five, minus three. If you did it by grouping, that's fine, but if you did it by grouping incorrectly, that would not be fine. So be careful with those. So that was two points. Did you get both factors correct? Write them correctly, the sign correctly, all those things. Then I'm gonna show you this in two different ways. Some of you did it one way, some of you did it the other. Some of you saw that this had a GCF, five, and factored that out. And then this would be just, the inside would be just like this first one where you have a one in front. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to be one, but add to be two. And that would be positive one and positive one. So again, you could go straight into your factors, five times n plus one, and then another n plus one, or five times n plus one squared. So that was one way you could have done that. Some of you took the grouping approach, which was fine as long as you factored out your GCF eventually. So some of you took five and five and multiplied that together to get 25. And then you would have been left with 10. So two numbers that multiply to get 25, that add to be 10. The only two numbers that work are 5 and 5. So then you would have to rewrite this into four terms. If you did it this way here, you probably should have realized that Something can be factored out because these are all fives. So you could have either taken out the five here and kept going or waited for the end. So if we kept going, this would be, and split this down the middle, 5n is the GCF of the first two, leaving n plus 1. 5 is the GCF of the second one, leaving n plus 1. So we have 5n plus 5 and n plus 1, but this can be factored more. So either way, you should have gotten two of the n plus 1s. Some of you factored out the 5, but then it disappeared. Nothing disappears here. So you should keep having all the things. So the second one was worth three points. Did you factor out that GCF? What 
questions do we have there? Then the last section is probably most missed. We either got one but not the other because we couldn't figure out the numbers. We messed up somewhere. Um, maybe threw out both. Or we missed this entirely. So for the first one, you're multiplying 2 and negative 20. Trying to find two numbers that multiply to be negative 40 and add to be negative 3. The two numbers that worked were negative 8 and 5. If you're struggling finding those numbers, take this, put it off to the side, start listing out all your factors, and then go through and see which one can I make negative. If I make it negative and I add them together, would I get the negative 3? If that's a no, cross it out and move on to the next one. Keep doing that until you figure out the number you're looking for. From here, rewrite this into four terms. Split that down the middle. Look for the DCF of the first two, which would be 2R leaving us with r minus 4. And then of the second two, your DCF would be 5, leaving us with r minus 4 again. So your two factors were 2r plus 5 and r minus 4. So the points on that were, did you show me somehow how you got these numbers? The x Maybe you just wrote them out 2 times negative 20 and somehow showed me that you got negative 8 and 5. Something. I need to see how you got those numbers. Rewriting those numbers into four terms. Factoring out the correct DCF of the first two, the correct DCF of the second two, and then did you get both factors correct? What questions do we have on that one? Other questions on that one? Okay. Then this last one. Multiply 6 and 8, so we got 48. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to be 48 and add to be negative 49. This one tripped us up the most because we always forget about the most obvious one, one in itself. Remember, if these two are really close together, like one apart, one is going to be one of your factors. Also, if you're, what you're multiplying is positive, the only two ways you can get a positive is two positives or two negatives. So this should have been negative 1 and negative 48. So then you would rewrite this. A little little. Um, if you have another problem that has T's, make sure I know which one is a T, which one is a plus. That was a little difficult of trying to read that. So then splitting it down the middle, these first two have 6T in common, leaving T minus 8. These next two have 1 but negative 1 in common, leaving t minus 8. So our factors would be 6t minus 1 and t minus 8. <coughs> the points would be the same. Questions on that section?
be on the lookout for GCFs, not just in the GCF section. Be on the lookout for things that have negatives out front. You have to factor out the negative. Do we have any general or specific questions before you guys take your test?